Hey, I want to show you a strategy that we use in the third grade to solve addition problems. It's called the jump strategy. And I'm going to show you, uh, we use a jump strategy both with addition and subtraction. But today I want to demonstrate how we're going to use a jump strategy with subtraction. So let's consider a problem. Uh, 64 minus 25. The jump strategy, uh, the, the tool that we use to, to, to jump is a number line. So uh, picture a number line running from 1 to infinity. What I like kids to do is I have them find their spot on that number line at 25 and they're going to work their way up using uh, jumps of uh, nice numbers, decade numbers, or fives, whatever works for them, to get to 64. So when I look at 25, I'm going to draw my number line, and I'm going to get out here to 64 at some point. So when I'm looking at 25, if I want to jump to the next decade, making this number into 30, I would jump plus 5. Now I have uh, with this 30 right here, I have a decade number or a nice number to work with. Now, to get to 64, a lot of kids are going to jump by 10s. Some kids might jump by the whole 30. So today, I'm going to say that if I am at 30, I'm going to jump 10. That's going to take me to 40. I'm not to 64 yet, so I'm going to jump another 10. I am now at 50. I will jump another 10. I am now at 60. And from there, sometimes students might break that four apart and say, well, I'll jump two and then two more. But most kids are going to be ready to say, I add another four. And I have now jumped all the way to 64. Now, the key is these numbers here are the numbers that we're going to put back together to find out what our difference is from 25 to get out to 64. Because again, this is a difference or subtraction problem. So when I go back through, I'm going to add my 10s together. So I have 10, 10, 10 plus 10 more. Plus 5, plus 4. Whoops. And kids are going to be uh, ready to put these 10s these, uh, back together. So you'll have 10, 20, plus 10 more is 30, plus 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. I then ask students to rewrite the problem using the number model 64 minus 25 equals 39.